I've got to get your opinion on a personal level. And uh, I know that after the show, uh, I think it was unboxing, and uh, Spike had a World Championship match uh, with Big Damo. But one of the highlights of the night for me was this here. And you got two big horses there having a bit of a stare down. Uh, the fans inside the ballroom thought for a second that we were going to get a little bit of a, a tasty encounter between Damo and Bullet. Um, but um, that that did kind of leave us kind of salivating for a potential match between yourself and Damo. And remember, he's the, the Atlas champion at the minute. That's That's all on progress. That is all on them now because I want that match with Damo more yeah. than I want any other match in progress. You know, I said I said that I want Cara Noir, but I want Damo because this isn't a who's better thing. You know, this isn't like size is all that matters. But just, just look at it purely on paper or in pictures like that picture. Yeah. At progress, no one looks like me. That's one of the reasons why this has worked so well. No one looks like me, right? Except Damo. Right? And so who else am I supposed to wrestle, really? Because Damo is the second biggest. <laughs> but is the second biggest guy there by like millimeters to me. And then there's no one bigger. There's physically bigger. There's no one physically bigger than me in that building every time we're in there except Damo. Yeah. And I just I yeah and I know as well. I know that one thing that is important to me because I love all wrestling. I genuinely do and I love watching the matches between the likes of Danny Black and Joe Lando, Leon Slater. Oh, it's just incredible. Darice is incredible, you know. I do love watching their style of wrestling, but when they were starting to come through when when ricochet and aj styles and daniel bryan were starting to bring the light through for the smaller guys to do more in a match it was because all we'd ever had was six foot four plus guys full of muscle or fat just yeah. tearing each other up in slow big hard hitting matches now it's got to the point where i feel like the wrestling crowd is starved of that do you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. especially in British wrestling, there are there and there's other big guys out there. There's other big dudes out there like Joel Redman, like Yeston Reese, like Adam Maxted. Yeah, big Jim. And I could and I could name more big Jim. There's other yeah. guys that I could name, and I'm sorry if I haven't named you. Don't give me heat in the locker room, but <laughs> like there's but they're starved of that on these main stage promotions. And so that's the other reason why I want Damo. Like I, I want you said about salivating, me too. Oh, because absolutely. I just want to show, especially a progress audience, that the heavyweights aren't gone. They're just forgotten. And you need to be reminded that this is what it looks like when two guys who could kick anyone's ass, especially yours, not you, John, but the fans. Hey, hey, hey. I don't yeah. want to get on your wrong side. Don't want to get on your wrong side. <laughs> the, the fans, I mean, you know. Yeah. 100%. There's some there's some fans that get behind some wrestlers because they think they're the same as them. They're not. You know, the wrestlers that are built like you aren't like you. They're athletes. They just are a similar size to you. But you used to watch wrestling and it would be these superhuman people that you'd watch. And that's what would be thrilling and exciting about it. And that's what me and Damo will 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 bring. And that's that I yeah, I need oh. it. Progress management, if you're watching, make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs>